On this occasion, we're gonna try to get my first ever 5 star animal. This is my very first Way of the Hunter video, and even though I have already killed several stacks, many fallow deer, and many wild boars, I have never made a video playing this game. But well, to be honest, not a lot has happened since I've been mainly exploring the map and looking for the best locations. I mean, as I said, I haven't found a single 5 star, but still I've killed several animals which have been enough to buy the 308 with the best scope to hunt fallow deer and wild boar, and also a 300 for red deer. I bought these two weapons, as well as some pieces of private land. So essentially, I'm not a noob anymore. I already have some experience, several hours, and now it's just a matter of actually trying to get a 5 star animal. Anyway, as you can see, there we have a red deer herd. There are a couple 1 star youngs, and sadly, there doesn't seem to be any actual big male. Although there is a 1 star mature, which I guess doesn't have any future. I'm trying to get close to 100 meters because I want to go for a hard shot and hopefully drop him on the spot. Gonna use the 300 and I'm aim right above the leg. Alright, that should have been a hard shot, but for some reason he didn't die on the spot, so I guess we hit a double long, which is quite surprising, I really thought that was a hard shot. Actually, I really want to see what we hit because I can't believe it. It went down real quick though. In fact, we hit the heart in a double long. That's interesting. I mean, it's quite realistic that the animal runs a bit after a hard shot. But the thing is that I already made like 3 hard shots before, and they were all insta kills, so I guess I was closer, probably below 100 meters, which means that we gotta start paying attention to the heat energy because that probably has to do something with it. There's a sound around here, which is a group of boars that seems to have at least 10 pigs. Gonna get closer to see if there is any big male on it. Got a 1 star adult, a 2 star mature, also another 1 star adult, and a bunch of small bacons. So I think the best option is to go for that 2 star mature, because it may respond with a better genetic potential. Let's zero for 200. Well, in fact, he's closer to 300, so you know we're gonna zero for that. Whoa! We might have hit the spine, I mean, the 308 is good, but it usually doesn't drop him on the spot. Here we have this 2 star mature wild boar. And that's a lot of blood. Alright, in fact, it was an spine shot. Not the best shot, I mean, I wanted to go for it double long, but we ended up hitting too high. So essentially the mistake was that I zeroed for 300, and then I aimed a bit too high, we were at 260 I think, so should have aimed lower. Look at that. A move on heart. I've seen maybe a couple before, so it's nice to come across one. And I believe I see a male with some decent horns. It's hard to tell where too far. There is a one star adult. A 2 star mature, which I guess is the one we saw from the distance. It kinda looked bigger, but you know, we were too far to tell. Ok, we're gonna take a shot on this 2 star mature. Move on. It ain't the best angle, but we can easily reach along. And hopefully drop him on the spot. I mean, that frontal angle quartering to me might not seem great. But the 308 is really, really powerful. He's down. Ok, as expected, a single long with the 308 was enough. Great penetration above 200 meters. And this is, I believe, my third or fourth move long on this Transylvania map. On this occasion, it's only 2 star, but it's good to start. By the way, we're playing on Adventurer difficulty. So it ain't the hardest difficulty, but as we keep progressing, we're gonna increase it to Hunter, and then why not to Ranger in some occasions. But the idea is to play mostly on Hunter, because you can still use the Hunter sense. And I don't wanna say it's necessary, but as a content creator, it's really useful to have all the sporting information because it makes it a lot easier for you guys to see exactly what I'm about to shoot, which is something that probably wouldn't be as clear while playing on Ranger difficulty. Alright, so we're heading to a spot. Okay, let's ignore that Hind is having a hard time. But anyway, as I was saying, today I decided to spend some time exploring the map, and I came across a 4 star mature stack on this location. He's a big boy. 
I decided to live the life because it has a chance to grow as a level 5. As a 5 star, I mean. Actually, he's part of a very decent herd. There are also 2 or 3 3 star matures that I imagine also have the potential to become 4 stars and perhaps 5 stars at some point. Although it might be too late for that. I mean, they are already mature, so they might be able to reach 4 stars, but 5 stars being 3 star matures looks nearly impossible to be honest. The 4 star can, but I doubt that's the case for the 3 stars. So we're gonna shoot one of the 3 star matures, and we're gonna leave the others alive for a few days to see how big they get. I'll need to check him every single in-game day though, because the 4 star might become a 5 star and then die a day after, right before we check him, so we shouldn't skip any day. I went for a hard shot there, which I guess we hit. Follow deer. I don't remember this herd, so I guess they weren't here the time I found the red deer, and it seems to be also a nice herd. And although we're seeing many females, I'm pretty sure there are many bugs behind the bushes. We need a better position though. So we're gonna move to the right and hopefully we'll see if there is any actual big male on this area. Okay, there is a 3 star mature casually convulsing. And apart from that, I don't see anything remarkable. Well, actually, there are also some pigs right there. You know, the typical 1 stars. But regardless of the size of the animals, this location is a nice spot. In fact, this whole river seems to be really good for fallow deer, red deer, wild boar. Road deer, also mouflon, and I think chamois more to the north. It is full of different species and many herds. And well, I don't know exactly how much variation there can be from map to map, but on my map it is certainly an amazing spot. Okay, I don't see anything bigger than that 3 star, so as soon as it gives us a better angle, we're gonna shoot him with the 3-8. Okay, now he's moving, and now he's on a decent position to go for a double long. Although now a doe is in the way, so gotta wait for her to move. And wait a moment. That guy down there looks big. I would even say significantly bigger than the 3 star. So let's see. 4 star mature. Big buck. That has the potential to be a 5 star mature in a few days. And maybe, just maybe. A second 5 star in the same location, in case the 4 star red deer also becomes a 5 star. Which sounds like a very unlikely scenario, but it's certainly possible if their genes are good. So I'ma let them grow just as the red deer. And I don't really care if it dies as a 4 star. I gotta take the risk because I really want my first ever 5 star. And we must take every chance we have to grow one. So gonna shoot the 3 star. That should be double long. And now I'm gonna reset the time to see if this 4 star mature fallow deer grows and becomes a 5 star. I gotta say though that it looked kinda grey, and as far as I know that means that he's really near the end of that mature stage, which means that he might die at any moment, and probably won't become a 5 star, but I wanna think there is still a chance. Now going back to what I was saying earlier about making videos on the ranger difficulty, I have to say that is certainly a very interesting option, and something that I've been considering since I started playing this game. It would require a very different style of video, a kind of video more focused on the experience itself, you know, in a slower paced style of video, with perhaps less commentary and more focus on the important details to make up for the lack of sporting information. I think that's a kind of content that could really fit this game. Anyway, I'm gonna reset the time, and we're gonna come back to check the 4 star fallow deer and the 4 star red deer. Hopefully they will become 5 stars. Look at that. 5 in game days later, the 4 star mature red deer became a 5 star. The other 3 star matures died as 3 stars naturally, but the big one is still alive and is gonna be our first ever 5 star animal in Way of the Hunter. Unfortunately, the 4 star mature fallow deer died as a 4 star, but earlier today I was exploring another region on the map and I found a massive roe deer, which we're gonna check after we get this monster. Let's see. That should be enough to drop it. Just gonna place a mark there. And now let's see how big it is. 
here we have this 5 star mature red deer. Beautiful. Of course I'm gonna take a few pictures and for that I'll have to use the controller because for some reason the key bindings on my keyboard are kinda bugged, they are not working properly, so I prefer to use the controller inside the camera mode. That's a nice picture. Now time to harvest this monster. Alright, we hit a double long in the R3. 97.95 generic potential and 459.9 score. In fact, that is a really small 5 star, but it's still amazing. Ok, now we're gonna check the big road here I mentioned. As you can see, they are down there. It is quite a big herd with like 4 or 5 males, and one of them is a 4 star mature. Well, perhaps it is already a 5 star, but it's gonna be impossible to tell from here. We have to get closer. There they are. Those are all females though. That one is also a female. But there is a male calling, so that might be him. Unless he's already dead. That would be a disaster. If it is still a 4 star, we're gonna shoot one of the others. And then I'ma come back another day. 5 star! It actually became a 5 star, which is amazing, it's gonna be our second ever 5 star, shortly after the red deer. And actually the fact that we have already managed to grow 2 4 stars, leaves me wondering if it's actually worth killing the 4 stars at all. Because I mean, if there is not a single reliable way to tell if a 4 star doesn't have a chance to become a 5 star, then I don't see a reason to touch him. Unless I guess you need the money and you don't care about the score or you simply wanna have a 4 star in the lodge, then killing 4 stars is not something you wanna do. Ok, now this massive road here is on a great position to go for a double long. We're gonna use the Teddy Teddy, the grandpa's rifle, and we're gonna aim right behind the shoulder. Alright, let's find the blood, and let's harvest our second ever 5 star. I don't know exactly how hard it is to get a 5 star odor, but I would imagine it's not too common. Perhaps not among the rarest 5 stars, but I am really happy that we're finally getting some monsters. Let's see. We got a double long in the R3. Beautiful racket is truly a giant roadier, and it has a 99.16 generic potential. Wow. And I wasn't expecting less 496.9 score.